What's up? You're all bad moody. It's nothing. Glad you could stop by. It's nothing. What? I'm done. So many years ago, you can make me feel like it isn't so. And why you come to be with me, I think I finally know. Mm. I always said I would never make a musical episode of Buffy. We always talked about it. People always talk about that. People love musicals. Nobody ever seems to admit it. And certainly not, again, in the establishment in Hollywood. But the fact of the matter is people love singing and dancing. Um, and a lot of shows do musical numbers and stuff like that, but I was like, if we ever do a musical, it would have to be a real musical, it would have to be original, it would have to be a story that was based in song, where the big story points and the big emotional moments are in the songs. It can't be, let's do a scene and then let's stop and sing an oldie. I think when, when musicals are done well, and they're not always done well, but when they are done well, when it works, the song happens at a point where the words aren't enough anymore. summer and I came back with this script and this score that I had written and uh, they've embraced it pretty amazingly I mean because they all have to work you know after hours doing dance rehearsals um, singing doing singing lessons training you know none of them are professional singers except for Tony and uh, who's you know sung on, on the stage in London and uh, you know, some of them were terrified and some of them were no problem and, and uh, everybody has done just amazing work. I wish I could say the right words to let you I have a musical background. I've done, I've done a few musicals like Godspell and Chess and Rocky Horror. Um, and uh, we were talking about it because he's a huge musical fan. And he said, well, and I've, every season I said, you know, we're going to do the musical version? And he, no, he said, oh, basically it'll only happen when, when the story arc is right, when it's, it, it'll find its time, it'll find its moment. And what it can't look like is we've run out of ideas, let's do a musical version. I've got a theory, some kid is dreaming, and we're all stuck inside his wacky Broadway nightmare. I've got a theory, we should work this out. It's getting eerie, what's this cheery singing all about? It could be witches, some evil witches, which is ridiculous, cause witches, they were persecuted, wicked good and love the earth and women power, and I'll be over here. Got a theory, it could be Barney's. There's about 14 different songs in the score, and so it leaves me about eight minutes for dialogue. He snores, she wheezes, say housework and he freezes, she eats these skeezy cheeses that I can't describe. And sometimes they're commenting on the action, sometimes they are the action, sometimes, you know, they're mostly, you know, their emotional insights into the characters and where they're going and where they realize they have to go. Thematically, there's a lot of uh, very important points of the story of the season happen in this episode. It's just so good. I can't even, ugh, I'm so excited for people to see it. And normally in musicals, you want to burst into song. In uh, Sunnydale, it's forced upon us and so it creates even more chaos.